door. Honey, are you all right? You know, I really wish everyone would quit asking me that. We keep asking you that because we're worried about you, and I guess that's about all we can think of to say. Losing a child is about the toughest thing anybody can go through. And you're a child yourself. Honey, if I could do anything to spare you even a moment of this pain, I would. Hey. Hey, Cole. Honey, are you sure you're ready to see Todd Manning in court today? Because if you're not, it's okay. I promise you, he's going to get what's coming to him. I wouldn't miss this for anything. I want to see that jerk pay for everything he's done. And Vicky, um, I'm sorry I didn't come by sooner. It's just, I got a lot going on. I know. It's written all over your face. I'm sorry. You have been dealing with your own problems. Well, sometimes it helps to listen to somebody else's. I think I'm losing Christian to another woman. There's one major problem with the whole marriage idea. Which is? I'm already married to a man named Ray Montes. And? He's in prison in Colombia for murdering his first wife. That's complicated. It's more than that. He's been threatening Vanessa and her stepdaughter. And we came here to get away from him. Turns out the bastard was right here in my view. Vanessa, I'm not sure you need to get into that. So it's not just a green card issue. It's because I shot him, my husband, at the airport. And he almost died. That is complicated, isn't it? I'm sorry. It's a great idea, Blair. I don't think you should be seeing me like this, do you? Oh, well, that's something we both agree on, Todd. But your son is confused and in a lot of pain. He doesn't understand why his father's behind bars. And I thought, well, you know what? You would be the best person to explain it to him. I need to hurt Todd as much as he hurt me. Then maybe I can get my life back. you've been there I mean how much did you hear The truth is, Jack, that I hurt Marty when we were both in college. Did you hit her or something? Mm -hmm. Well, I was drunk, and I did get violent. And the thing now is that she's had an accident, you see, and, and she can't remember anything, she, especially things like, like what I did to her back in college. So she thought that you were just the dad when she was staying at your house? She thought I was her friend. And you weren't? Well, I didn't act like a friend, no. I, I lied to her a lot. Like how? 
I didn't tell her she had a son. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm fine. I just I wanted to wait until you finished praying. Are you looking for me? Well, after you left the cemetery, Cole wanted to come looking for you. Didn't think that was such a good idea. Sometimes people need their own space. Thank you. Then I broke my own rule. <laughs> Here you are. I guess I was worried, too. How is Cole? Well, he's having a hard time. But he's a tough kid. I guess you would know that, wouldn't you? Better than me. It meant a lot to me that you were at the cemetery. How about you? How are you handling all this? You... It's great that you're concerned, but you really don't need to, uh, to, to take care of me. That's just not your job. Well, humor me. I'm unemployed. Does Blair know that you came to look for me? This is how today's going to go, all right? The procedure is, uh, is short, and it's pretty straightforward. First, the list of charges are going to be read against Todd, and then he's going to enter his plea. And what if it's not guilty? Oh, I don't think he's that big a fool. The guy has never taken responsibility for anything he's done. Why would he start now? Well, I had a little talk, and um, I'm pretty sure I got through to him. I think I did. I think he understands it's not in his best interest to plead anything but guilty. Did you make him a deal? Yes, I did. I can't believe this. Cole, listen to me. I do not want this to go to trial for your mother's sake as well as yours. Okay, and if it does? Well, I'm not just going to have to throw the book at him. I'm going to have to beat him over the head with it. I know this has got to be the worst day of your life. Hmm. Yeah, I, I just buried my kid, and I'm not even old enough to vote. Oh, God. Hustar. Well, I saw her after the service. She tried to talk to me, but I said, I didn't know what to say to her. I should have told Marty about Cole. She had a son. And I should have told her about me, about who I was. Why didn't you? I had this crazy notion that I could start over. But, uh, it was, uh, <laughs> it was crazy. It was nuts. And it was wrong. But that's why I kept quiet. As I told you before, Marty was in this accident, and she couldn't remember that I had been mean to her. And I, and I didn't like the person I was back then, and she made me feel, uh, she made me feel like who I was now was, was, was good. And as much as I told myself that I was helping her, it, what I did wasn't right. If she didn't find out who you were, where were you going to stay with her forever? I wanted to. So you wouldn't even see me? Star or Sam? It was worse than that. I was going to leave without telling you. Ray claims that he's only in prison because Vanessa put Lola up to testify against him. And now he wants us both dead. And if he doesn't do it, he's going to find somebody else to. So you've been living in a state of constant fear. Well, finally, I couldn't take it, so I filed for divorce, and I went down to the prison to tell him. I can't imagine that would have helped the situation. <sighs> well, I wasn't exactly thinking. I just, I just wanted to end it. You know, look in his eyes and tell him it was over. And that's what she found me. <laughs> Why? Well, it, it's a long story, but I was in that prison under the name Ray Montez. Okay, and then? Then Vanessa got me out. Probably saved my life. So now you're obligated to save hers. Well, I, I wouldn't call it an obligation. It's what's right. 
So what happened with the divorce papers? Well, once I knew that Ray was out, divorce was the last thing on my mind. We, we left Colombia as soon as possible, and we never looked back. So you may, in fact, not be married. Well, I don't, I don't know. How, how would I find that out from here? Let me take care of it. I promised myself I was not going to bother you with any of this. Please, just forget I said anything. Okay. Is that really what you want? No. Honey Bunch, I love you. Besides, I'm your aunt. It's kind of what I'm here for, you know, to have somebody to talk to. And since your mother is not here, don't you need that? <laughs> you know, why would I? She left me a puppy. I'm really sorry she left so abruptly. For your sake, anyway. The thing is, I didn't give her much choice. She, um... All she told me was that she made some bad decisions, but I know it must have been worse than that. What did she do? Thank you. Just got off the phone with the consul in Bogota. They need an hour to do a search on your divorce. Are you sure they're going to get back to you? Things over there can tend to take a long time unless somebody greases the wheel. I have a feeling they'll step things up for me. What can I offer you as thanks? Please, it was a couple phone calls. It's more than that. Answer this question for me. You say that uh, uh, Ray um, Montes says you convinced his daughter to testify against him? Well, that's what he says. He told Antonio he was innocent, that Vanessa set him up. Did you? Well, my mom came to the cemetery. She changed your mind? Yeah, you know, it really helped having her there, too. Wow, that's a big step, Cole. She's trying. Yeah, I guess she is. But she, she's so different. Well, it's gonna take a little time, sweetie. It's, it's, not, it's not the memory stuff, it's, it's who she is deep down. I mean, something's changed. It's like Todd's like ripped out a part of her soul. Mm. That's still there. She's just protecting it. I hope so. Because if Todd killed her spirit, prison's nowhere near enough punishment for him. You were going away? Forever? But I didn't. Don't you love me anymore? Of course I love you. Jack, of course I love you. I love you and Star and Sam. You guys are the best things that ever happened to me. I would never be able to stay away from you. If she didn't find out who you were, would have you gone away forever? I don't know. I don't know what I would have done for how long. But believe me, I would have never been able to cut you out of my life. Right? I love you. More than Cole's mom? Blair knows I care about what happens to you. But you let her know that she comes first. I've got it covered. Because Blair doesn't strike me as a woman who would like to be second. I'll give you back your privacy. I'm sorry. I'm prying in your relationship. I think I... I'm feeling a little guilty. For what? For taking you away from your life. You're not. I chose to be here. See, there you go again. Being that good guy. <gasps> Just wish I remembered. It's pretty unfair. <gasps> I have to go. Yeah, you got someplace you have to be? Uh, yeah, actually. Todd's arraignment. I want to hear when Nora reads the charges against him. What are you thinking? I shouldn't go because I'm going to go. Okay. You need a ride? Mom, 
more than me? It's a fair question, Todd. No. You're my son. So why would you leave with her? Because your mom wouldn't let me see you. And that was killing me. But I screwed up. And I went a little crazy. And after everything that happened with Sam and, and with your sister, I just lost it after that. And I was a bad father. And a bad husband. And I didn't like myself particularly for that. But also I was trying to do what was right for you. I, I thought that maybe if I went away and, and, and started over that I could become the kind of father that you'd be proud of. And maybe then we could all be together. How? Yeah. Uh, how was that going to work for you, Todd? I don't know. Do you still want to go away with her? It doesn't matter either way. I, it won't happen. Because you're in here. Even if I wasn't in here, it wouldn't happen. Marty and I are over. Uh, it should have never happened in the first place. Are you getting out soon? Um, I... It doesn't seem likely, Jack. He's been in jail before, and he always gets out. Yeah, well, it's up for the courts to decide this one. But your father has done some things that he needs to pay for. Okay, so it seems like he might be away for a very, very long time. Are you accusing me of setting my husband up for murder? No, I'm asking. Tell. I'm a lawyer. We ask questions. Ray killed his first wife. He knows it. Lola knows it. And I know it. Okay. Got it. Now, back to the matter at hand. Right. So, if Vanessa's divorce is confirmed, then this marriage thing could work, right? It might. I mean, since 9-11, things have got a lot stricter. And immigration was onto this scam way before that. This has to look like a real marriage. Vanessa needs to really know her husband. We're talking about the color of his toothbrush, whether he wears boxers or tidy whities how he likes his eggs cooked, honeymoon photos help. It takes a lot of work, but it is possible. This is even illegal? I would never suggest anything illegal, Christian. You know that. I'm just informing you as to the law. Listen, if, if Vanessa really wants to have no trouble with immigration, then she should marry for love. They'll buy that a lot sooner. And the sooner she does that, the better. Risotto, porcini, du maurice. I'm not hungry. You know, normally, a dish like this would only be eaten at a table. However, in this case, I'm going to make an exception. Come, sit down. There you go. actually pretty good for rice. <laughs> well, I told you. Mo, uh, Maurice <laughs> is a genius anyway. You need your nutrition. What's going on in that brainy brain of yours? My dad. The arraignment. I figured he shouldn't be taking up so much space. Well, I can't help it. I want him to pay for what he's done. And he will. But then, at the same time, I... You can't help wishing that something would prevent that. Can I be honest with you, Aunt Dorian? Of course. And you promise that this will just be between us? Oh, I 
promise? I've been all over the place with this, and you're right, he is my father. And I don't need that whole he's evil and I should hate him speech. All of that is true, but I would never encourage you to hate your father. Then what do I do? Eat. You know what, I guess there's just a part of me that's afraid of turning out like my mom. Meaning? She's given my dad a million second chances, no matter what he's done. I'm just afraid that I'm gonna do the same. I mean, if my dad wanted my mom back, I'm not sure if she would say no. Oh, bite your tongue. Sadly, your mother has been in love with... Your dad for a really long time. But she's seen the worst, and I don't think she's going to make the same mistakes again. And neither will you. So, I've got a little secret for you. Want to hear it? Okay, yeah. Good, good. You are stronger than both your parents. And I've known that about you since you were a really little girl. Come on, bud, we should go. Are you gonna be okay in there? Yes. I'm gonna be fine. Don't you worry about me. Okay? There's a couple things I want you to do, though. I want you to do your homework, brush your teeth, okay? make sure you tease your sister a lot. Okay. But don't roll your eyes when you're hanging around with her or mom or Sam, okay? And you have to do this. I'm not going to be around to make sure you do it, and you've got to do it. I'm so tired of trying to explain you to him. Clean up your messes. He's got a father that is a jerk. He doesn't understand it. He wants the truth. And you're the only one he wants it from. But I gotta hand it to you. You really added on some nice touches there. Going on about Marty. How you want to be a better man. Try harder for her. Most men, most good men, want to try harder for their children. I was star. She buried her little baby today. You know, the one that you wanted to steal and raise with your girlfriend. All right, man, I think it's time. You know the routine. Well, thank you for giving me a lift and for not talking me out of coming. Yeah, well, I'm never going to be the kind of guy that'll tell you what you can and can't do. Huh, you and Todd are like night and day. You don't know the half of it. Well, I'm just going to come right out and say it. I'm. Actually, looking forward to this. That's good. So, so you know, there's no guarantee that this is going to work out the way you want. What do you mean? Man, it could weasel his way out of this. Just so you prepare, just in case. Doctor Sabra. Just a word. Uh, what are you looking forward to hearing today? What's it like living with the man who raped you? You keep getting mixed up in my problems. I'm sorry, Christian. Hey, come on, nobody should have to go through this alone. You really think her idea could work? I'm not sure, but it's about all you've got. I know, it's just... It's just a little strange. Yes, but if it keeps you and Lola in the country, then I think it's worth the risk. <laughs> you 
okay? I just, I don't know what I would do without you. It's official. You're single. Well, my divorce went through. Mm -hmm. Three weeks ago. Now, the choice is yours. I say take my advice and get hitched. That is if you can find a nice man to marry. The thing about your mother is that she's really a child who never grew up. And at times that can be very charming, but it's not a lot of fun to be the child of a child. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like I'm her mother. I'm sure you do. Her childish nature has led her to make some very bad mistakes, and she has caused serious, serious harm to a lot of people. Most of the time without actually meaning to do it. You know, I, I don't know if it's any comfort at all, but it, I think that she's doing the best that she can. Unfortunately, her best is not very impressive. No, it's not. I'm awfully sorry she's not here for you. Well, not in the way that you want. But maybe I could stand in for her. What do you think, huh? Little Sarah. Okay, so tell me. What exactly is bothering you about this, this woman that Christian's trying to help? <laughs> well, how much time do you have? You're right, Aunt Dorian. I really didn't need to be all right. What's up now? We just went to see Dad. I'm going to go get something to eat. And there better be real food. Jack, oh. you were really brave before. And you know, Dad does love you very much. What were you thinking? Did Dad ask to see him? You know, it was my decision, okay? There's been a lot of talking and code going on around here, and Jack just needed to see for himself. Why? Because it was necessary, Dorian. Very necessary. I want you to do me a favor. Will you, will you watch after Jack for just a little while longer? Yes, where are you going? I've got to go to Todd's arraignment. Mm, and I'm going to. Sorry, after the day that you've had, no. Honey, please, just stay home with Jack and me. No, I want to go and I have to go, Mom. All right. I can't talk you out of it. And Dorian, thanks again for just listening. <laughs> Anytime. Dorian, just listening? Oh, I know, right? Who knew? <laughs> thanks. Well, what would you like to say to Todd Manning now? Will. How does it feel to see the mother you buried? Pass it back what? off. Manning's being brought in. What's it like to face your captor? Leave her alone. Manning was brought in for you. Okay. Oh. 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 Hey, listen. You don't want to do this. You say the word, we get you out of here. No, no, no. I'm not going anywhere. Are you sure you're up to this? I mean, you shouldn't have to look at Todd Manning's face. No, I... I want to see his face when he says he's guilty. Could you excuse us just for a second? I have a list of uh, charges that I need to show you. <clears throat> One in particular that I won't state unless you give me the go-ahead. This sucks. I know. Your mom's strong. She's handling it. I know, but she shouldn't be here. The way she sees it, she can't be anywhere else. Mr. Manning! Any remorse for what you did to Marty Seabrook? You're a beautiful woman. I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding someone to marry you. And if it means that you and Lola can stay in the country, how bad can it be? Oh, I have to check the time. Excuse me. Oh, I gotta take this. 
Hold on a sec, okay? If you guys need anything, let me know, okay? Okay. Thanks. Good luck, okay? Keep sweating. Bye. I mean it. Call me if you need anything. Okay. understand why he trusts her okay so she got him out of prison but it was really only to scam him into bringing her and lola into this country is christian really so trusting that he doesn't see that at all that's exactly it and um i thought everything was going to be fine when i found out that she was going to be deported but he's trying to help her stay yes do you know why she's in trouble? No. When, when she was coming into this country in the airport, she ran into her ex-husband and shot him. Whoa! Yeah. Well, now she sounds like quite a catch. <laughs> Unfortunately, she is attractive. Like Penelope Cruz, Selma Hayek attractive. Honey, do you love Christian? I love him with all my heart. And I think you should stand up and fight for him. Thank you, Aunt Vicky. Oh, honey. Come here. Oh. Um, excuse me, Lord. I need you to come take a seat, do you The court will now come to order. All rise for the Honorable Judge Thompson. Spectators may be seated. <clears throat> Todd Manning, do you understand the rights and procedures that were explained to you prior to this arraignment? I do. Now you're here to enter a plea on this staggering list of charges. Where's your attorney? I don't have one. Court will appoint a public defender. No, 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 that's not necessary. I'm going to represent myself. You do know the old saying about the man who represents himself. He's a fool for a client. Yes, I understand. Fine. Ms. Hannon, I understand there's an addition to the list of charges. Yes, Sir Honor, there is, if I may be allowed to read them. Kidnapping, first-degree felony, unlawful restraint, first-degree misdemeanor, false imprisonment, second-degree misdemeanor. Attempted kidnapping, second-degree felony. Attempted false imprisonment, second-degree felony. Indecent assault, second-degree misdemeanor. Aggravated indecent assault, second-degree felony. Sexual assault, second-degree felony. And lastly, rape, first-degree felony. Mr. Manning, on the stated charges, how do you plead? One second she's walking around in a negligee, and the next second she's all, Oh, Christian, what is going to happen to me? Really? Am I being a jerk? I mean, I, I know Christian's just trying to do the right thing, and that's why I love him. You could tell him that. I have. Look, um, I think that it takes... <laughs> a lot more energy to not trust someone than it does to trust them. So I think you should just stay and love him. And hopefully Christian will wise up. And then you won't have to end up fighting for this relationship. I don't care what the risks are. I'm going to fight to stay in this country. So are you going to marry an American citizen? I hope so. Christian, will you marry me? Understand this. It is unacceptable to throw good food into the fireplace in this house. Understood? Furthermore, really brave people are not afraid to try new things. So, quit being a chicken and taste this. It's 
not a pile of crap. You are not being brought up in a barn, young man. However, Maurice will be very pleased that you like it. <laughs> Mr. Manning, I'll ask you again. How do you plead to the charges against you? You want to prove to her that you love her? Then take the deal. Plead guilty. But you're not going to do that, are you? No, you're not. Because this, this massive love that you're professing to have for her, it's just another one of your big, fat lies. Mr. Manning. Todd! Don't you say another word. Taylor got it. Stay tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live. Life to Live. You marry me, Christian. Okay, my car was canceled. Why? You're admitting to raping Marty Saybrook yet again. You need my help.